Uh, today I'm going to talk about uh, more, uh, opinion dynamics over assigned the social networks. And uh, this is a joint work with my previous colleagues at the uh, KH uh, Institute of Technology at the Lichtenstein University in Sweden. Uh, here, Alexander brought here, Kai Johansson, uh, Kai Johansson and uh, Claudia Pippini. And of course, this is also a joint work with, uh, with John, and uh, started this project uh, three years ago. And uh, here I'm going to show how far we have uh, go along this direction. And uh, here is an image illustrating what is the social network uh, is about. And we have been all familiar with online social network uh, uh, services. And uh, if you talk about uh, social networks, we have uh, Facebook and Twitter and LinkedIn in mind. And uh, and uh, we are you can you can you can you can you can even visualize the graphical structure of the social network by who is following who on Twitter or who is whose friends over Facebook, right? And uh, and uh, we all form opinions on different uh, economic, political, uh, uh, and, and and the social events uh, in the society. And uh, this kind of opinions can be binary or, or continuous, and they can be kind of uh, smartphone you are going to choose for your, for your next one and uh, which candidate are you going to support for the US election this year, right? And, uh, and uh, these are uh, aggregate binary uh, opinions and it can also be uh, continuous in the sense that uh, how you predict the rate of economic growth in this year and uh, what is the social cost of carbon and uh, there is a funny story about uh, this uh, carbon tax calculation, and uh, it's complex. Uh, there are there are six indi independent uh, models uh, for different from different uh, uh, researchers and the institutes trying to set up a, a correct uh, uh, price for, for carbon, and uh, and uh, and they, they give different outcomes and based on different uh, rationales. And uh, of course, we all uh, exchange our opinions over such a network, and uh, our uh, opinions eventually evolve over time, different uh, interactions. And uh, there is a, a long time uh, research along this line of research uh, of, of topic, and uh, the earliest work uh, can be traced back to 1920s, and uh, just uh, uh, list a few. Uh, work from different uh, the, the literature is huge. I just uh, they said few them, and uh, and uh, one particular uh, research stream is that uh, we try to model the dynamics of opinion from the first uh, principle, like uh, we did to mechanical system using news models, and uh, uh, formally and. Uh, we represent the opinion of the social peer i in the society with the value x i of k, and uh, and we model the dynamics of the opinions using differential uh, difference equations, and uh, and the relation of the i will be influenced uh, by a few of its peers who uh, she talks with, and this is uh, from this form different uh, types of this kind of. Uh, dynamical equations and uh, from different uh, uh, reasoning of the underlying principle of the social networks. And uh, uh, one particular uh, influential type of uh, model is the so-called uh, the group uh, social interaction model. And, uh, and, uh, and precisely the update of the uh, node opinions from the linear have environmental systems, where P is a state transition matrix, and it's, it's, a, uh, it's a vector where we stack all the uh, social members' opinions. And uh, how about I assume that P is a stochastic matrix, matrix in the sense that uh, all these elements are dynamic, and uh, the sum of its row elements, uh, of its elements along every row will be exactly the one. And, uh, here is a physical interpretation of the root uh, social interaction. We consider uh, a pair of nodes who is going to who is going to form the 
the group uh, the group rule. And uh, this, this is their previous uh, days of opinions. And uh, after the induction, they will they will be tend to be closer to each other. And uh, for more like this is uh, can be uh, can be given by an equation like this. The alpha is uh, is a bit to how much uh, the two nodes trust each other. And uh, and uh, this is the uh, this is the attractive nature of the degroup uh, dynamics in the sense that uh, when uh, pairs holding different opinions uh, interact with each other, they will uh, talk to each other, and eventually they tend to uh, tend to uh, leave a weighted average of their previous opinions, and uh, this is a physical interpretation of the degroup. Uh, uh, of the degroup model, and uh, you can prove that uh, this is uh, uh, from classical theories to current problematic uh, theorem. That uh, an agreement, in the sense that, uh, in the sense that all nodes are going to converge to a common value if the state transition matrix P is a good data in the sense that uh, it is irreducible and uh, periodic, and uh, and uh, the the, the the agreement value is given by the initial value of the entire network, and uh, the left eigenvector of the state transition matrix P. And uh, this is uh, not quite surprising because this kind of attractive force along the different uh, nodes, if you imagine them as particles, and they will eventually be attracted uh, to uh, to to. To, to certain equilibrium where they are equal to, they, where they are equal to each other, but the underlying graph so, uh, satisfies certain conditions, and uh, and uh, algebraic like this means that uh, the matrix B is a good thing, and uh, when you translate this idea to the to the to the, to the social graph, it means that the social graph to be strongly connected, and uh, this is simply. Uh, to say that uh, trust and cooperation will eventually lead to social consensus is that uh, uh, everyone is happy with one common value across the entire network. And uh, this is consistent uh, with the uh, coincide, uh, coincide with uh, uh, this is a popular uh, book called The Wisdom of the Crowd. And a few years ago, Globe and Jackson put, uh, uh, put this. Uh, uh, which in this book, the author suggests that the corporation can generate uh, wisdom to the crowd in the sense that uh, uh, the wisdom of each individual pieces might be small, but if they act uh, in a uh, cooperative way, the crowds may show certain high, highly intelligent uh, wisdom. And this actually can be put into a rigorous mathematical description. Uh, in this paper by Rube and Jackson, and uh, following the simple degroup uh, rule, and each node converge to this uh, common consensus value, and uh, if the initial value of every node is ID placed with the finite mean and the finite variance, and uh, this means that uh, the, the number of nodes goes to infinity, and uh, this particular group can be wise in the sense that uh, uh, this value will converge to the mean of the of the true random variable, to the true mean of the random variable in probability as the number of the nodes tends to infinity, if there's no dictator in the network. And uh, formally, this is this is reflected to by the entries in this left eigenvector <coughs> way, and uh, uh, very nice ideas, and uh, uh, this is shows how simple rules can can lead to uh, certain wisdom of crowd, but with trust. When people trust each other, and uh, they can use these simple and naive rules to learn some uh, complex uh, truths of certain randomness. And uh, and many other researchers argue that uh, uh, consensus is nice, but uh, this 
normally we don't happen in reality, and uh, there are different uh, interpretations to why and how this agreement uh, arises uh, from social interactions. So uh, I classified a few models in here, and the first effort to explaining this agreement uh, uh, come from uh, Friedkin and uh, Johnson in, in a paper in 1999, and in, in, the, in this paper, the is no the always uh, keep its initial memory in the update, so that uh, eventually uh, the nodes will going to converge to a value which uh, contains two parts. The first part is the uh, social part, which the peer gains from the interaction with others, and the second part comes from its initial value, which is of course different uh, uh, for different. Uh, uh, social members. And uh, the second uh, type of model can see the bond in the confidence in the sense that uh, one, um, one of such type uh, model is a uh, so called cross model. And uh, in such model, and uh, nodes will only communicate with other nodes, which is within a certain range uh, of, of its own opinions. And uh, this leads to a state dependent update, and you can observe that uh, you can have different uh, uh, bifurcation like uh, uh, state evolution, and nodes will tend to converge to, uh, to different clusters, and uh, these clusters uh, can be shown to be, to be stable uh, under certain uh, circumstances, under, under certain conditions in the paper. Uh, a nice paper by Flandell, which is separate from 2011. And uh, I can also assume that uh, there are stubborn, stubborn nodes in the, in, the, in the network, such as political leaders, they never vary their opinions. And uh, uh, of course, this will, uh, will change the behavior of the, of the, of the, of the nodes. And, the final, and the finally, people started uh, influence the homophily in the sense that uh, Nodes may put nonlinear uh, weight on, on uh, its own opinions in the sense that uh, people want to believe what he uh, what he believes is true, and uh, so these are uh, I think the list will continue, and these are all the efforts of trying to trying to use the first principle to give an explanation to how this agreement. Uh, appear in social interactions. Uh, in this talk, I'm going to introduce one of our model and the analysis uh, to opinion dynamics over social networks with both friendly and adversarial relationships. And, uh, and uh, we model a social network with two types of uh, interpersonal relations. They, are, they can be friends, of anniversary for any pair uh, of social members. And uh, this can be ideally modeled by a assigned graph, uh, which is static, in the sense that uh, two friends will share a positive link, and two anniversary will share a negative link. And uh, uh, the, the study of signed uh, network uh, has been, can be, can be traced back to the 1940s, and uh, where people started the so-called structural balance of such a static uh, graph. And, uh, and uh, in a classical definition, a signed social network is structurally, uh, strongly structurally balanced if the node set can be divided into two different uh, groups, where you have all the way positive links in each of the group, and uh, we have only negative links between the two groups. And uh, you can generalize this, this def definition to a big balance uh, in the sense that uh, you have multiple, more than two, subgroups of this kind of positive cluster. And uh, there are fantastic theories regarding what kind of properties we are determining the social uh, structure balance. And uh, the surprising fact is that uh, uh, you can actually verify each triangle of the social network so that you know 
that uh, the, the, the global graph is structurally balanced or not. And, uh, and the structural balance is going to mean that uh, uh, what kind of society is balanced or stable. And, uh, and uh, this is basically uh, you couldn't uh, have two of your friends uh, which happen to be enemies and you wouldn't have a you wouldn't be possible to have a party together, right? And uh, this is a uh, classical interpretation to structure a balance. And, uh, um, and that, I mean, out of curiosity, do they conserve such a structure in real social networks? Uh, so this, is, this is a fantastic question. And uh, uh, there are, uh, there are uh, experimental studies to real world social networks. And, uh, and uh, real world, because this you can, you can easily verify that uh, uh, this kind of condition are hard restrictions to the to the graph, right? Right. and uh, you wouldn't imagine a social network to be perfectly structurally balanced uh, mm -hmm. in the strong or weak sense. But you can create a, a metric uh, as, a, as a measure mm -hmm. of the social structure. For example, you can uh, you can you can quantify how balanced or how unbalanced uh, to the uh, to the social structure. And it turned out uh, in the paper uh, by, uh, by my collaborator Claudio Arnfini at the uh, New York University. And you can, uh, you, I think they did it, uh, they, they did it, uh, um, uh, you, can, you can verify the people's <coughs> relationship by, uh, by, by reading how people comment to each other uh, online. And then you reconstruct uh, the sign and graph. It turned out that uh, the uh, real world social network identified in such a way tends to be strongly structurally balanced. Tend to be. It, it means that the unbalance is uh, uh, can be uh, restricted at a small at a, at a, at a low level. Okay. Yeah. Is the relationship graph um, associated with one special problem or in general? Like, let's say you have an economy problem, you have environmental problems, like. Uh, is this graph like um, uh -huh. a, a, associated? With this, this is uh, this is this is also a great uh, question, and uh, uh, my explanation to that is that uh, we do not go to the reasoning behind the find the uh, behind the such, such sign network, and uh, people can agree with each other on certain economic issues, right? But to disagree with that each other for, for other for other things, right? And uh, so people can be. Can be can be can be friends for certain events and can also be adversaries for other for, for, for other events, right? And this is certainly true. What we are trying to focus on is that uh, you can uh, is that we want to study one type of social events. We do not study this kind of mixed uh, opinions from from different uh, dimensions. And uh, uh, the underlying structure is assumed to be fixed and coming to. Uh, Different uh, underlying reasons, and we study how people react to different to such kind of relationship, and eventually drive the uh, the formation of the social opinions, which will be shown later. Thank you. And does the, does it have some kind of like path operation, like friends, 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 like friends, enemies, enemy, some kind of? Uh, we, 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 actually, we we didn't uh, we didn't. Uh, uh, impose such kind of assumption, but eventually the structure of the network will show up and uh, determine the social formation. <coughs> and uh, uh, here are uh, two example uh, graphs, and the left one is stronger, is strongly balanced in the sense that you uh, have two subgroups. And uh, the second one is weakly balanced in the sense that you have three groups, three subgroups. And uh, the first thing we want to establish is that uh, when do we know the impact? For example, uh, we as a member of the society, we meet uh, at uh, this code uh, Monday at uh, our Maryland, and we exchange our opinions. And uh, the, when the that way do we impact? And uh, we, use, uh, we use an underlying work, and, uh, which is captured by her Antarctic graph, uh, containing two parts, the positive part and the negative part. And uh, 
the underlying graph is fixed and our data determinant is state and uh, connected. This is our outstanding assumption. And uh, this underlying graph will determine who uh, we can talk to whom in the, in, in, in the society. And uh, correspondingly, uh, the neighbor side of the neighbor, <coughs> node I, will be divided into a positive and a negative neighbor group. And uh, they use a Gaussian model to determine uh, how people, uh, when do people interact. And uh, at, each, uh, at each time, there will be uh, one single node selected randomly that will start a conversation with its neighbors. And uh, uh, this selection is random. And uh, for this particular time, and we assume that uh, only this pair of nodes interact. So this is, uh, uh, this is uh, uh, formally, uh, this is a Gaussian model uh, given by that independent with other time and node states. And we first uh, select uh, a node with a probability 1 over n, and it's the number of the nodes in the entire network. And the node i will select one of its neighbor with the probability uh, one over the <coughs> volume of the, his neighbor there. And uh, this is an abstraction to uh, social interactions. And uh, uh, this, this model is widely accepted as a standing, as a standing assumption on the interaction process over social internet, internet networks. Actually, people use this kind of model to, to explain why uh, rumors spread uh, so quickly in social networks. And uh, so after uh, we have modeled that uh, when do a pair of nodes interact, the second uh, thing we are going to uh, investigate is how a pair of nodes interact with each other when they actually meet. And uh, they use the following first principle to model the interaction between a pair of the nodes sharing an active link. And uh, suppose a pair of nodes i and j uh, has been selected for a particular time k, all right? And uh, as we have explained in classical De Groot uh, rule for trustful interactions, and the people uh, tend to uh, update that state as a weighted average to their, uh, to their uh, previous states. Uh, this gives us uh, attractive force between the two nodes, if you view them as particles. And uh, for a pair of nodes sharing a negative link, we would like to model the interaction to a repulsive, to a repulsive force, in the sense that uh, uh, the, uh, in, the, in the athletic rule, the, how people use, the, how, the, how the nodes using the uh, relative stage between the pairs is exactly reversed. So with, that, with two different uh, uh, dynamics describing the positive and the negative interaction, it's not symmetrical. It's not symmetrical. It's not symmetrical. Because the one bound and the other is not bound. Yes. The yes, exactly. And, uh, and uh, that's an independent model which is, uh, which is a different, uh, uh, that which by our training in 2013 gave, giving a different uh, interpretation of science and social networks. And uh, I will let uh, uh, go to details in here. And here is uh, again an interpretation to how the positive and the negative links influence uh, social interactions. And uh, as we explained in the uh, in a, in a trustful relationship, people tend to be attractive to each other in their opinions. And you have attractive force between the two nodes. And uh, in the negative ones, and you simply have positive uh, opinions. People try to push each other further away. And this is uh, our interpretation to sign the social networks. Now we have do you know to what extent this has been verified by psychological study? Uh, because you now the question is, can a psychologist study mm -hmm. if people, let's say, trust each other, then they 
can convert yes. a bounded way, but when they don't turn each other, uh -huh. then their differences grow in an unbounded way. That's the question I'm trying to understand. Uh, this, this, unfortunately, this has not been studied. The first part has been, I think, uh, partially verified using real world experiment, experiments. And uh, for the moment, uh, we just uh, uh, use this uh, first principle to, 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 to model this. And uh, hopefully, this can be done in the near future. And, uh, uh, but this is our starting point to, 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 to show that uh, people's opinion can be unbounded. Uh, we have a second part and for bonding the uh, belief. Can I ask a question? Uh -huh. Related to the model that you have, uh -huh. it seems like because of the way it's set up, the two nodes uh -huh. have a different opinion if they move away from each other, but yeah. they cannot change the order. Uh, uh, so, so why is that? Say they do not change. Uh, in, the, in, the, in the positive interactions, yeah. it's possible that uh, uh, when two nodes interact, right. they exchange the order. Yeah. Because they can merge to a. They, no, I'm talking about the second. The second line is that they will not change the order. They will somehow right. uh, well, tend to be uh, more disagreement uh, with each other. Right. And uh, certainly uh, in this formulation, they couldn't, uh, they couldn't uh, change the order. They can further, further apart. Right. So yeah, of course. Uh, okay. It seems foreseeable that in some cases they will change the order. What's my hands? They do that. Right. Yeah, but I can move away from each other with the opposite side. Not in this one. Yeah, but so yes, is yeah. that something that limits the, uh, yeah. the, yes, the yes. dynamics? Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Plus the fact that all the nodes here mm -hmm. are undirected. This is not also right. It's right. not true. How much you trust me, how much I trust you, right. it's not symmetric. So the positivity here is qualitative, mm -hmm. but it has to be an ad and considered component has to be added. Right. This can come from trust or other. Right. So, if you going back to the question of the process, if you want to verify something like this using real data, how would you verify it? Uh, I think the most difficult part is that uh, how you quantify the opinions, the opinions and uh, observe the time sequence. Mm -hmm. And uh, in the classical uh, study, uh, this is extremely difficult, right. even with the uh, possible interactions. And uh, uh, I have tried to uh, discuss with my collaborators, and uh, it will be a fantastic thing to do. For example, in Facebook networks, you find a way, uh, you find a way to quantify people's opinions. But uh, I think this is an uh, effort which also uh, needs effort from computer scientists. For example, how you model, how you, how you do uh, sampling uh, opinion from, uh, from, 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 from like a comments uh, we made we made a daily, on, on a daily basis, uh, but uh, this is certainly not uh, covered by our research. And uh, I think the most important thing is that uh, the model is simple enough, and uh, we, we, we don't want to add uh, too much. It's certainly possible as shown in our future works, but uh, uh, but uh, this has already already been very rich so that we can uncover uh, certain surprising facts to the social interaction which will be shown later, right? And uh, now we have got everything. And we have a deterministic uh, graph where links are positive or negative. And we have random process. And at each time, a pair of the nodes is randomly selected. So all the randomness come from the, 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 the pair selection process. And the uh, condition that a pair of the nodes uh, has been has been selected, and the intention will, will be determined by their sign, which is deterministic and prescribed, and by the by these two type of interactions, which is governed by two parameters, and one alpha and the, and the beta. So this is our everything we have, and so what can we what can we say about this, this evolution of node opinions over such a uh, social network modeling. And the first part, we focus on the mean and the mean square uh, evolution. And uh, the uh, formula 
the node states can be uh, written into uh, into a linear system where the state transition matrix is uh, uh, is a random matrix, which is I D over time, and uh, the expected uh, state transition matrix uh, is written in this part. It can be written like a uh, written into two parts. The first part is uh, positive interactions, which is given by the Laplacian of the positive graph. And the second is uh, uh, is, uh, is uh, negative Laplacian. And then you can verify that uh, the first part of this matrix uh, is stable in the sense that uh, is uh, uh, all its eigenvalues will uh, be, three, be smaller than one. And the second, the smallest, uh, the second largest eigenvalue will be strictly smaller than one if the positive graph is, uh, is, uh, is connected. So this is a this is a stable matrix. Where the second graph, the negative Laplace, is positive, is that it, uh, positive, that is definite, and it adds to the interaction and uh, other perturbation. So if this is a uh, or eigenvalue perturbation part. And uh, you can where did the name come from? Do you remember? Sorry. Where did the name come from? Relative state you think about it. Yeah, you call it a relative state of state. I know, but where did the name come from? Is there a name? Because in the update it uh, it uh, it uh, reverse the sign, it flips the sign of the relative state in the negative interaction. Right. Right. And uh, then you can easily show by simple linear algebra, algebra that that is a phase transition in the uh, in the evolution of the expected value of the normal opinion. And uh, if the positive graph is connected, and that would be critical value beta star, such that uh, uh, if the the, the negative force is something small, then all nodes, uh, the expected value of all nodes stays will still work to the average of the initial values. So otherwise, the maximum difference between the expected value of two different uh, nodes will diverge. And uh, this is a critical dissipation and uh, easily verified uh, by, uh, by eigenvalue perturbation theorem for linear uh, for linear algebra and uh, and uh, it is possible to prove that uh, this is inside the point out by Claudio that it is possible to prove that uh, the expectation of this matrix I mean this matrix and in here that will be negative values and uh, you can show that uh, this transition matrix is actually eventually positive in the sense that uh, there is a largely enough integer such that uh, the power of the state transition matrix will always be a positive matrix, matrix in the sense that all the entries are positive and uh, when the power is greater than such integer. And uh, you can play with this and for some interesting uh, toy examples. For example, if you consider the underlying graph to be a complete graph, and, uh, and you let the negative graph to be the Erdos ring random graph with the main appearance probability P, then you can show that uh, uh, if the P is smaller than alpha over alpha plus beta, alpha is a positive strength, beta is a negative strength, then the probability such that uh, you reach consensus in expectation will tend to 1 as the number of the nodes n tends to infinity. And uh, this probability p is a uh, probability measure encrypted from the Erdos uh, ring graph. And uh, conversely, otherwise, conversely, you have the p is crosses this critical value, and uh, so you have divergence in expectation uh, equals to 1 in probability when the number of nodes again tends to infinity. Uh, this is proved here uh, using 
existing result for spectral theorem for large length of graphs. Uh, are there any results where one extend this to path connectedness? Uh, no, as I love, I think we still like the same question. If I have seven, I mean, I have a path of four. Yes. But not the same one of four. Yes. Are there any results like that? Uh, we, we don't particularly study how that your... No, but is there anything like that in the uh, Because I assume that the positive is, is connected, it uh, may be too strong. Uh, uh, yes, but... it's path connected, then it's a little easier. Uh, yes, yes, but uh, this is just... Uh, we don't use this assumption uh, all over the place. It's just uh, for some particular... No, I understand, but I said, it, are there any results where this kind of study is done where I have uh, path connected C plus, and then whatever, for the minus. Uh, uh, no, no, I don't, I don't think so. Don't think so. <coughs> All right, so you can do the similar thing to the mean square evolution, and uh, you end up with a higher order linear environment systems, and everything is uh, an eigenvalue problem, an perturbation problem. So it's not particularly interesting so far, but looking at the expected uh, value of the mean square value of the node. Uh, in those days, but uh, something interesting happened to the sample pass behavior. And this is the uh, main focus of our study. And uh, the first <coughs> result we established to be called a, a label dilemma in the sense that you can, uh, you can introduce a few events where the Nodes is going to the node opinion is going to converge or diverge, and it turns out that uh, you can show that the, the divergent and the convergent uh, events and eventually constitute the whole probability space, and uh, so you either converge or diverge under quite mild conditions, and uh, the second. Uh, uh, Result we show for the sample pass behavior is we call it a, a zero one mode. This, zero, uh, this convergence and the divergence events are related to a particular given condition, and uh, you can consider it uh, to all the initial conditions. And it turns out that uh, both the convergence and the divergence conditions are trivial events in the sense that uh, they happen in probability either zero or one, and uh, and uh, they are mutually exclusive with each other. And uh, for given initial condition, you can certainly convert with property of one over two and the diverge with property of one over two. And uh, and uh, we also show that there is uh, no survivor property in the sample path behavior, in the sense that uh, if the maximum ne ne network Disagreement eventually diverge. The, the difference between any pair in the network will eventually diverge either. Also, this is, uh, we call it a no survivor theorem. This is independent with the, with, the, with the relationship between the pair of the nodes. Even the pair sharing a positive link, and, uh, and uh, the positive link wouldn't uh, uh, help them from version eventually. They call it a, a no survivor problem. And uh, you can also show a phase transition for the almost sure convergence of all divergence. In this case, uh, there will be a suddenly small beta star in the sense that uh, if the force between the negative lengths are suddenly small, we will still almost surely convert to the network average. And uh, if the negative force is suffering large, you have almost a divergence in view of the law of large numbers. Can you go back to the previous slide? Sorry. Can you give an interpretation of the control? Uh, the, uh, the interpretation is that uh, uh, suppose we have been given an event in the sense that uh, the maximum difference of the network will diverge. Right. And uh, then you, you look at a particular pair of the nodes in the network. Right. They might be close to each other. Right. And uh, the, 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 
uh, the, the final of this lane can be positive or negative, but uh, they will be influenced by the by the, the divergent uh, entire network opinion, and eventually the force either between them or from others will eventually drive the the, the pair of the nodes to diverge. You can you can easily consider. A well, that has to be true for every i and j. Yeah, for, for, for every I. So, what I'm having difficulty is just because the limit of max is infinity, uh -huh. right? Uh -huh. They somehow have to repair against each other Yes. for every I and J, and I'm not sure if I understand how they are going to infinity for all I and J. Uh, That's so why it's called uh, in the survival. I mean, it's the maximum. Difference. In other words, some of them may agree, but if the yeah. maximum of the twelve is, is infinity, okay. then right. eventually everybody will disagree. It's but presumably they are going to infinity slower than the uh, limit of a max, right? No, no, no claim here about time. So, yes, certainly it can be slower than the maximum diverge, but the uh, limit will also diverge. This is, uh, uh, this is uh, what this result says. There are no finite time results. There are all, uh, no comparison of how they go to the So how do you interpret that in real world context? What, what, what would that mean? Seems like everybody is going to an island to be his or her own. Yes. In terms of opinion. Yeah, exactly. This but is. Do you see that in real life? Uh, we couldn't uh, see that, but uh, we will, uh, we have a bounded model to uh, to to discuss such scenario later, which which uh, make use of this kind of understandings. All right, I will come to that uh, later. And uh, all right, this is a phase transition result. All right, so. So in response to which are question, right? And the results basically said that when the negative force is sufficiently large, then eventually everybody will be an isolated island in the real land, which is unlikely to happen, right? And we think we consider this as a as a as a as a result of that we haven't imposed any bonds on the beliefs so people's opinion can go everywhere from the entire real line which is uh, which is certainly not uh, quite uh, reasonable to think of but uh, this kind of result is to for us to show that uh, uh, in the simplest in the setting even you can see the linear model we can show this kind of how much a negative way can influence the entire dynamics and uh, even in the presence of only one negative way and uh, we revise this model to a bounded state model in the sense that uh, that will be a hard constraint minus a and a, such that uh, if after the update the no space uh, is it goes outside the the, the the interval, then it will project uh, immediately back to this interval, so that uh, uh, that will be an interval we write it as minus a to a, such that uh, this is a uh, uh, this is a physical space of people's opinion, so nobody can go to infinity. And uh, so what can we do? What can we say about this? And uh, for this bounded state, so, so everything is still the same, just uh, except for that uh, uh, if after uh, after a certain interaction, if the no state goes outside the interval, it will project back. We call it the bounded state uh, model. But uh, this projection is of course nonlinear, so uh, the model essentially becomes a nonlinear model. And uh, then you can show some show, show something more intuitive, and uh, in the sense that uh, it uh, somehow it, uh, somehow can verify our uh, our observation to the to the reality. And uh, suppose the graph is a is a structurally balanced weakly or strongly balanced from our previous definition. And uh, when the negative edge is sufficiently strong, and uh, then that will be that uh, and, uh, M is the number of the different clusters in the structural balance. So you have M different groups, which are opposite to each other. And uh, it turns out that uh, for the bounded state model, all the node states will be clustered on the boundary of the intervals. 
So uh, this is uh, uh, I think it's better I show uh, an illustration of this result. So consider a graph. Uh, you have you have three different uh, you have three different uh, subgroups, and uh, they start from different uh, opinions, and uh, and uh, they have positive and negative interactions. But uh, almost surely, all the nodes will be clustered into the two cliff boundaries, and uh, this happens if the negative edge is sufficiently large. This means that uh, it's uh, it's uh, negative interactions which eventually drives the polarization of the of the of the of the of the of the, of the, of the opinions. And uh, actually, uh, surprisingly, it's very difficult to uh, to 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 show what is the distribution of the eventual limit. But well, better is still unbounded. This is bounded. Better is still unbounded. Yes, they are bounded. Right. But uh, they are out of the two boundaries. But, but the basic question in many of these models, as I always say, that even in our own world, is that we use these numbers alpha and beta, mm -hmm. okay, mm -hmm. and we actually make quantitative statements about them. Yes. When it's extremely difficult to actually measure them quantitative from experiments. Yes. You can measure if you and I disagree or if we hate each other, but how much is very difficult to measure? Uh, if you can have such a such an amount of data, you can identify such parameter, like using system identification tools. I look at this to find quantitative numbers. How you quantify up and data from other social data? You can. It's very, very yeah, yeah, yeah. Very subject. Because one understands the qualitative statement, but to make it quantitative, yeah. So I have my own doubts uh -huh. about this model, but that's okay. another story. And, uh, and uh, not, one surprising fact is that uh, it's very hard to predict uh, which boundary I'm going to tend to. And uh, in the sense that uh, you can be anywhere to, to the boundary. The second, the second part is that. Uh, and uh, you have n subgroups which are mutually adversely, right? But uh, eventually, uh, there are only two boundaries, so there, are, so some of the groups will be enforced uh, to form a, right. some kind of alignment in the in the opinions eventually, so that you have two polarized opinions uh, in the state space. But in the underlying graphical space, you have three or even more different uh, clusters. So when you say distribution, distribution of what? The distribution of the, for example, uh, you will be going to the two boundaries. It can be either minus A or A. You will have a probability that you go to A or go to minus A. So it depends on the distribution of the initial value. It, it, it depends on, yes, it depends on the initial value. So it also depends on alpha, beta, and the graph. And the graph. What I'm saying is that it is very difficult to predict uh, the, 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 the distribution of such a such a limit, uh, binary random variable, and uh, and uh, in terms of initial values, even you assume that the initial values are, are, are ID from the for the for the interval. Is that because the mappings themselves do not have good structure? I mean, if there are, for instance, contracts and mappings, it seems have a point of contact with the random arrays and random mappings, that sort of things. But the reason it's difficult to do it is because the mappings can do not have any nice structure. No, uh, no structure. See, yeah, so that's what I mean. Yeah, no structure. Yes, exactly. So you can exploit. Yeah. Is that it's, it's loss? It's a loss of partial order in the in the in the in the node opinion in the in the evolution. And uh, how we uh, this is how we do the do the uh, studies and uh, some intuition to the result. So now consider we have only two subgroups. And these are their initial values. The initial values are uh, spread over this finite uh, interval, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, and uh, the difficult part is that uh, uh, they are highly mixed, mm -hmm. and uh, this initial order mm -hmm. will never be followed uh, through the timeline, mm -hmm. and uh, and uh, it's, it, uh, it's it's difficult or even impossible to give a uh, give a index to how the how the order of the nodes is going to evolve from this uh, time sequence. But uh, we, 
managed to prove that uh, uh, this so-called separation event, in the sense that uh, the two groups will eventually be separated in their in the space way, in this way, will happen with probability one. And uh, after this separation event happens, then it's very uh, intuitive to say that uh, because all the forces between the two groups are repulsive ones, then they will be uh, pushed to the two boundaries. So this is the intuition of the result, and this holds true for even more groups. And uh, surprisingly, <coughs> is that, uh, is that uh, uh, if you have one small group, if, for example, you have m subgroups, but they might have different uh, size in the number of the nodes. And uh, it turns out is that uh, if you have uh, one small group or, or a few small groups in the subgroups, then this separation event will tend to more likely to happen in the, or happen more quickly in the sense that uh, uh, the intuition is that uh, if you have a large subgroup and uh, even you have positive lanes, it's very difficult for them to be clustered in such a way that uh, their opinions are separated from others. But if you have a small group, for example, two or three, and uh, it is very easy for the small groups to, uh, to, to form an isolated um, island for the in the in the opinion space. However, the the small group, once such a uh, opinion island has been formed, it will push other to the boundaries very uh, in, in, in a very fast manner. And uh, then you will have then you have this kind of cluster cluster result. This is uh, another interpretation to the power of minority groups in the social. Have you done simulation where you talk that you show the time? The time, uh, yes, it's a, it's a, everything happens quite uh, very fast, for example, in, uh, around the 200 steps. And uh, the negative force, I think, we assume is 7, which is not uh, quite large. And uh, we can further do more simulation <laughs> for that. And uh, without uh, the structural balance, in the sense that uh, uh, the positive graph from a connected uh, from a connected graph overall, but uh, you have some negative links uh, between certain members. Then we can show that uh, actually people's opinion involving over time will touch the two boundaries infinite times for both of the two boundaries, and uh, we call it uh, opinion oscillation. And this is kind of new in the literature. Uh, uh, to show such a phenomenon using exceptionally simple uh, modeling to the to the to the to the dynamical process of the opinions, and uh, this is uh, due to real common dilemma and uh, and uh, the, uh, the 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 leap or die dilemma we established previously, and uh, here is a here is an interpretation, and uh, all the nodes are. Uh, you have a connected uh, <coughs> positive graph with one negative link in here. And uh, we plot one typical sample path from this particular node 1. Then you can clearly say that uh, all the node states, uh, this, this, the, the states of node 1 will touch the, will touch the boundaries infinite times and, uh, and uh, along the time horizon. And uh, this gives an uh, oscillation to the result. It means that uh, in the side of the network, and, uh, people's opinion can shift and, uh, between two boundaries. And, uh, and, uh, and this will happen with probability one. And uh, so this kind of studies can be generalized uh, to uh, asymmetric uh, trust. You have a directed graph. And uh, for the underlying uh, work, yeah, and then you can all, you can also have time varying uh, meeting probabilities and time varying even weights yeah. on the on the positive and the negative forces, <coughs> and uh, you can have a general random graph processes to for the for the for the nodes inter interaction process, and uh, you can recover most of the uh, source or. Uh, understanding we have established in here, and we have a function of 
uh, papers, uh, which have been published in the uh, previous uh, past uh, a few, few years. And uh, we are working on some uh, more sophisticated explanation for this and uh, how to identify such kind of uh, positive and negative nature in social networks or communication networks. All right, so that will be all for my talk, and uh, thank you very much. Thank you for